In this report, I'm going to talk about Tesla Model 3's incredible crash safety results. Paul Foss of TorqueNews.com is discussing in an article showing and explaining why electric cars and Tesla cars, and particularly the Model 3, have such high safety ratings. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Paul writes that we talk a lot about Tesla's technology. Tesla's technology is incredible, but we haven't really focused talking on Tesla's technological safety. Paul says, in my experience, vehicle safety is a major reason to buy a car at a certain point in life. When a family has kids, the family, even if they were big risk takers a few years earlier, tends to get very concerned with safety. And Paul here is absolutely right. I remember when my first son was born. This was 16 years ago. And uh, I was careful. I was afraid to drive a car because all of a sudden I realized that I'm responsible for the life of a very fragile person, a small child. So there is a point in a family's life that um, someone's life that safety becomes important factor. The family starts to realize they have given up so much of their time and wealth to have kids. They want to do everything in their power to protect them from harm. Sometimes this goes too far and overprotective parents hurt their children by not letting them take responsible risks and learn from them. But uh, Paul says he disagrees. Another event that changes a family's perspective is when their teenage child first starts driving. By the way, I'm one of those parents and my teenage child 16 years ago, 16, 16 years old is just starting driving. Parents buy them a safe car so that if they make a mistake and crash, the chance of injury is reduced. Paul says one of Tesla's first crash tests was with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, about two years ago. Not only did they receive, I mean Tesla receive a five-star rating, when you dug into the details of the report, but the car also had the lowest probability of injury of any car that agency had ever tested. NHTSA has been testing cars using its current tests since 2011. Now, how did Tesla achieve such a market-leading fit, particularly the Model 3? Paul says, in his opinion, his opinion is Tesla look at safety in a different way. Other companies design their cars for a given market and design them to pass the required safety tests. Have you ever heard the old joke about engineers? Any idiot can build a bridge that stands, but it takes an engineer to build a bridge that barely stands. It seems most manufacturers use their engineering talent to make their cars safe enough. Tesla, of course, has to be concerned about cost and wave, but the company strives to make its cars safer than any other vehicle, Paul says, not just safe enough to pass the test. Tesla put it this way in the blog, in the blog post that announced the results of its historic NHTSA test results. Here's what Tesla said. Model 3 benefits from its all-electric architecture and powertrain design, which consists of a strong rigid passenger compartment, fortified battery pack, and overall low center of gravity. These safety fundamentals help to prevent intrusion into the cabin and battery modules, reduce rollover risk, and distribute crash forces systematically away from the cabin, all while providing the foundation for all superior front uh, crumple zone that is optimized to absorb energy and crush more efficiently. You see, what was interesting is that um, that distributes crush forces systematically away from the cabin. So Tesla is specifically working on things that can um, distribute the crush forces away from the cabin and make the driver safer. Now, 
when you watch uh, the video that was uh, the crash video of Tesla um, and, and NHTSA, it becomes obvious why electric cars without a front engine are safer than gas and diesel cars with a large engine. They simply have more space to absorb the impact. This has a dramatic effect in higher speed head-on crashes. Paul says when he was growing up, it was common for people to get severe injuries or even die in crashes that were only 25 or 30 miles per hour. Look at these pictures um, of, uh, if you look at the pictures of actually 1996 Chevy Astro minivan, uh, now it is common to survive crashes at 40 miles per hour and even faster. Now, if you compare that to the uh, Tesla Model 3, the crash do you can see that at, at, uh, at the same speed you can see that the front is almost not at the passenger area uh, and the driver's area is almost not any much injured paul says the difference is startling in the first images of um, i mean if you look at the crash images of the um, chevy astro minivan uh, not only has the engine been pushed back into the passenger compartment no doubt causing severe injuries to the driver and foreign passenger but you can see the center of the car has been compressed likely causing injuries to other passengers in the vehicle as well so what do we conclude from this paul says tesla does a lot of things to make their cars safe paul says i haven't even touched on their active safety measures whose goal is to avoid a crash and minimize injuries to passengers and pedestrians. Tesla has shown a consistent interest in raising the bar in automotive safety. This hasn't been highlighted as a major selling feature or a major selling point so far as the cars have been bought by a combination of environmentally concerned customers and performance oriented enthusiasts. And I here personally think that Tesla can make its safety a selling point by just showing the crash of Tesla and crash of a 1996 uh, minivan or other cars. Now, as Tesla looks to move into the mainstream family car market over the next few years and sell millions of cars a year and hopefully 500,000 this year, Tesla will need to highlight some of its safety advantages to grow their market share. Let me know, friends, what you think about this, uh, about Tesla safety. What has been your experience with Tesla safety? In the meantime, we're still looking for Tesla reporters. If anyone wants to join our team uh, for, with uh, te daily Tesla story, please contact me. And also, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle news. And um, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And I'll see you soon in our next story. God bless you. Take good care of each other and peace be with all of you.